Hello. In a moment, we're going to learn I've Got Rhythm on bass, but before we do, let me say a couple of things about it. I've Got Rhythm may very well be the most important song you ever learn. The reason why is because countless songs follow the chord progressions. There's two chord progressions. We have an A section and a B section. Back in the early days in the 30s when, when, when swing or jazz was our, early jazz was our, the popular music of the day, musicians would get together and and they would, they would play a song they might not have ever met. And they'd say, okay, this song's an E flat, and, uh, uh, and it's just like I've got rhythm. Uh, and uh, that went on, that, that, they, that, that, that scenario went on, on and on, and eventually they just started saying, this is just like rhythm changes. So, so it, just, it just became known as rhythm changes, which is the A section of I Got Rhythm. Now the B section is real common also. The B section is what we call back cycling. It gets its name from the cycle of fists, uh, the cycle of fifths, if you haven't seen it, it looks like a clock and it has our chords on it. And uh, a back cycling is just, just starting anywhere on that cycle and, and, and going counterclockwise in, in, in order. Uh, so if you, if, you want to, if you need more information about that, maybe leave me some comments below. Now in this exercise here, we're going to uh, do only roots and fifths. The bass, bass player's first job is to nail the roots and the fifths. Though that's the most important notes that they're going to play. Now, in, in future lessons, we'll get into the arpeggios. We'll get into some neighbor notes or side slipping, some people call it, and a walking bass, etc. We'll just take it one step at a time. But right now, you want to nail those roots and fifths. So let's get on with it. 